I'd like to show you how to set up automated user provisioning in Workplace from Facebook using Azure Active Directory. Let's check it out. Okay, this is actually really easy to do. So within the Azure Active Directory admin portal, we're gonna to go to Enterprise Applications, and then I've already added this from the single sign-on video, so I'm just gonna do a search for Workplace and click on Workplace from Facebook, and it's gonna pull up the Enterprise app. Over on the left side, we're gonna click on users and groups, and I'm gonna add Megan Bowen, she's my admin, and I'm gonna add a security group workplace access. Yes, I lift off the other S, that's my bad. And anybody who's a member of that security group will then automatically be provisioned access to workplace from Facebook, so that's how this works. Over on the left side, I'm gonna click on provisioning, and I've already set this up, but let me walk you through how this works. I'm gonna click on edit provisioning, and when you come in here for the first time, it's gonna have you authorize your admin credentials. So when you click on authorize, it's gonna log in SSO, you into Workplace, and it's gonna have you add Azure AD skin provisioning to Workplace, it's an integration. Now once I've added that, I'm gonna go uh, test the connection, and then I'm gonna add this email address to have it notify me whenever there's a failure, and then click on save. Now when I click on save, it's gonna bring me back to this main screen. I'm then gonna click on edit provisioning again. And this is where I'm gonna turn my provisioning status to on. And I'm gonna tell it the scope is sync only assigned users and groups as opposed to everybody in the enterprise. And in that way, anybody who's a member of that workplace access security group that I showed you before will automatically get provisioned access. Now up here at the top, we have mappings. And this, these are the attributes in Azure Active Directory and where they map to the attribute in Workplace by Facebook. So here you can see the UPN matches up with the username, the job title matches up with the title, so on and so forth. Now I can add custom attributes as I see fit, but this is all in there by default. Now I can also set a scoping filter as well, so I can only add users that are uh, maybe meeting certain uh, attribute criteria, but I just have it set at the defaults for now. And then down here at the very bottom, actually let's close out of this, and then we're gonna refresh this. And then now I can see my provisioning details, I can see that there's some activity. So let's go ahead and click on view provisioning logs. And I'm gonna set my filter here to status equals success and action equals create. And then we should see those users that are in that security group automatically be provisioned, and here you go. So there's Joanna Lorenz, and user Joanna was created in Workplace by Facebook. Uh, here's Christy Klein. User Christy was created in Workplace by Facebook. Folks, it's this easy to set this up. The only science project part of it will be two things. One, your attribute mappings, making sure uh, if you don't want to do the defaults, making sure that you get that properly designed. But also the second thing is just figuring out a process for how you get people added to that user group. I mean, you could provision for everybody in the enterprise, but you may or may not want to do that. Now, back over in the admin panel here, here's our users. And if we just do a quick refresh, we can see that these users have been invited to Workplace. Sorry, I refreshed the page here. Let's pull it up. There they are. So they've been invited. So now they just need to go open up the email invitation and then they get access and away they go. So, folks, this is how you automatically provision and deprovision access to Workplace by Facebook using Azure Active Directory. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please reach out. Happy to help. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.